There are many examples of plant-derived medicines, and these are not simply restricted to herbal teas. Natural products derived from plants make up a key portion of our modern pharmacopoeia. Drugs originally derived from plants are used today to treat pain, cancer, infection, heart disease, and more. Other, more complex plant ingredients used as dietary supplements, medicinal herb therapies, botanical drugs, food additives, and more. In this lesson, we'll go over some of the main ways that plants are classified based on their formulation and use. First, there are a few major groupings to distinguish medicinal products derived from plants. There are herbal medicinal products, natural products, and dietary supplements. Herbal medicinal products are also known as herbal remedies or phytomedicines, and these contain hundreds or more compounds from plants in their formulations. Natural products commonly refers to individual types of compounds isolated from plants, and this encompasses some well-known drugs like morphine, digoxin, taxol, quinine, and caffeine. Nutraceuticals and dietary supplements tend to include plants that are in the diet and which also have some noted health benefits. In this table, we can break down the different ways that herbal products are regulated. This first group is as a drug, and it includes natural products originally discovered in plants and now used as pharmaceutical drugs. The next group is that of botanical drugs. This represents another FDA approval pathway and allows for formulations of multiple compounds as long as they come from a single plant ingredient that has a history of medicinal use that's relevant to the current claims of the botanical drug. The first botanical drug to earn FDA approval was developed from a green tea extract that was rich in syncatechins and is used to treat both existing and newly emerging genital and perianal warts. In the next category, we have dietary supplements, and these are intended to supplement the diet. Examples include um, things like extracts of garlic and echinacea. Plant ingredients are further regulated in categories, such as the category for grass, or generally recognized as safe. They may be used in food additives, or in special diets, or even in cosmeceuticals. We'll cover more examples of each of these categories in future lessons. The use of herbal medicines and nutraceuticals is extensive, increasing, and very complex. Patients are motivated to take herbal medicinal products by a number of reasons, as shown here. Herbal medicinal product purchases are made based on a self-selection basis from pharmacies, health food stores, supermarkets, mail order, and also through the internet. And with the exception of pharmacies, there's no health professional typically on hand to provide information and advice to the patient on the use of different products. In many cases, there's also limited information on specific herbal ingredients with regards to both their safety and efficacy in any case. Pharmacists, nurses, and general practitioners need to be competent in advising consumers on the safe, effective, and appropriate use of all medicines, including herbal medicines. But this is a challenge, as these topics are seldom covered in their professional training. Importantly, healthcare professionals also need to be aware of the products and healthcare practices that patients are engaging in. So, if you take herbal medicinal products, always be sure to inform your physician so that they can provide guidance concerning any potential herb drug interactions or other safety concerns.